government is set to reintroduce a collection of road tolls on selected roads in the country next year. This new measure, which was introduced in the 2023 budget by the finance minister, is in sharp contrast to the directive given in November 2021 to close down toll booths. But the closure take care of the traffic situation, as was said in the past? Well, not entirely, but as we await the introduction of the tolls, this is the current state of the toll booth here on the Accra Tema motorway. A once vibrant area is now deserted, and not even one vendor is seen on this stretch. The booths are in a sorry state, with cracks on their walls, and if this place will have to be revived, then it sure needs some repairs. The situation at the Ashaman Toll Plaza is not any different. What is obvious is that the boots in their current state cannot be put to work. The ecosystem that existed when these tow boots were at work have since virtually died. I spotted a few vendors who still sell on the stretch, but their job is no mean task. They literally have to chase after cars before they can make any money at all. Gifty Tete is a vendor on the stretch. Business is now bad. They used to buy things when the booths worked. Now we have to chase cars before we can make money. Gifty says she was unable to get any other spot to sell her bottled water since the tolls were closed. As a result, she's had to cope at this same spot for an entire year and business has been very slow. Wherever we went was full, so we had to stay here. I have a child and this is what I do to take care of her. Like Gifty, other vendors here are having a hard time making ends meet. And for them, the reintroduction of toll collection would be an answer to their prayers. We like it. They can even revive them after Christmas. Since they closed their toll booth, I think things is not going well. So we are begging the government that they should open their toll booth. But these vendors are not the only ones elated by the news of the toll booth returning. Some 500 persons with disability who were employed as toll workers and lost their job on the abolishment of tolls across the country are also likely to be excited. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News.